And we're committed to you here at Fox Carolina. Greenville welcomes new residents every day, which puts a strain on the number of affordable housing options in the county. Mm -hmm. and many organizations are working to make a difference, but that need grows more daily. Tonight, Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris breaks down how a major benchmark in affordable housing has changed. Yeah, new data shows Greenville's area median income has increased by 4%. While that might sound like a good thing, this could be a reason why you see a rise in rent cost. It's kind of a good and bad thing. Tina Belgi is the Policy and Advocacy Director for the Greenville Housing Fund. The nonprofit works to create and preserve affordable housing options. One key factor in doing that is the area median income, or AMI. Different folks may be at double, sometimes triple the income moving from other areas into the southeast. That's what led the AMI to rise. It's now $89,000, which means half of the county residents make below that number and the other half make more in a year. AMI is used as the guide to set the price points for affordable housing units in developments. And that really affects what those rents are going to be set and any projects that are receiving federal, state, or even local funding towards affordable housing. So if they rise, that means the rents for those projects rise as well. Belgi says last year the AMI rose by 10% and some people saw a 10% rise in rent. If wages are also rising, it's not a problem, but... Um, but our wages are pretty stagnant and remain so. Which could make it more challenging for people who were already cost burdened by rent. On a positive note, a higher AMI increases the value of a housing assistance voucher. I guess I would say it is a breath of fresh air not to see it climbed so heavily. So we're seeing it slow along with the cooling of the market. That's a positive sign. And the Greenville Housing Fund and other organizations continue to advocate and push for more housing options. We'll have more on where you can get assistance on foxcarolina.com. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.